Hi guys, um, this is a tutorial on how to install Rapid Caption. Now, um, to do this requires a little bit of comfort, comfort in terms of computing. If you have any issues once you're getting into watching this tutorial and you don't want to do this yourself, and you want to have a member of um, Teleperformance staff install this for you, that's fine, we can do it remotely. Uh, but many of you need a quick reinstall. You've done the installation before or uh, with myself or some other member of staff walking through it. If that's the case for you, um, you're going to be fine just installing it yourself. So the number one thing you want to do is find the actual installer um, that you've saved. We can send this to you. Or we're also going to make it available on a website. It'll probably download either to your downloads folder or documents. But regardless of where it is, you could just go to your main uh, this PC listing and just look for it. If you search for rapid caption and wait for your computer to run through its index, it's going to find the rapid caption.msi and that's the installer for this particular uh, software. Now this software is old. So normally, um, when you're downloading any other software, you're going to just be double-clicking it to install. You cannot simply double-click on this and have it installed. It will look like it's sort of working, and then you'll get all sorts of error messages. It has to be installed in this very specific way in order for it to function. So I've got my rapid caption installer that shows up here. You can see it says Windows Installer Package. I'm actually going to right click on this and cut. So right click on it and then go to cut. And I'm going to move it into my um, local disk or C drive. Sometimes you might have a different letter listed here, but it'll always come up as local disk. And then I'm going to click on local disk and then in blank space here, right click and paste. And it's going to paste in rapid caption. This is to make it install easier uh, a little bit later on from the command line. So I can close out of here now. Then I'm going to go into um, the Windows uh, search box and I'm going to type CMD. And you're going to see command prompt come up. Now this is important. You cannot just click on the command prompt. You have to run it as administrator. So I'm looking here, run as administrator, or you can right click on it and run as administrator. Either way, you're going to click the run as administrator option. It's going to ask whether the app uh, can make changes to your device. You're going to click yes to the box that pops up. And now we get an administrator command prompt that, uh, that pops. You have to make sure, double check here, that up here it says Administrator Command Prompt, not just Command Prompt. If you install this from the Command Prompt regularly, the program will not function correctly. It needs administrative privileges in order to be able to install. So now we have um, this uh, file directory listed. We're going to go right back to our C drive. To do that, we're going to play, uh, type CD or Charlie Delta, and then a slash. So CD slash. I'm going to make it bigger so you guys can see. I've done CD slash, and I'm going to hit Enter. And now we're back to the C drive. And I'm going to type rapid caption dot MSI, that's Mother Sugar Indigo. And I'm just going to hit the Enter key. And here it goes. Uh, I'm going to click Next at the first box to continue to install. Uh, here's all the stuff that nobody reads. I'm going to click Next. And unless you're someone who actually uses this as your uh, writing software, which very few people do, you're just going to click Next here for rapid caption software. And at this point, the installation usually sort of hangs just for a little bit um, while it's waiting to install. So don't be alarmed if you see this box 
sitting here and apparently doing nothing for a little period of time. It's not that big a deal. Yours might hang for as many, much as a minute I've seen in the most extreme cases before it very quickly finishes installation. And then you're going to click finish. Now I can go into my command prompt and close out. And I'm going to see that Rapid Caption is installed on the desktop. If it isn't installed there for any reason, you can always look it up in Windows Search by going into your Windows Search box and typing Rapid, and you'll see it come here. Either way, whether you're running it from desktop or not, you're going to make sure you're running it as administrator just the first time when you're registering the product. So even if I'm installing from here, I'm going to go here, right click, run as administrator. I'm going to click on that, a box pops up, do I want to allow this app from an unknown publisher, yada, yada, yada. I click yes to allow it. And I get to this activate button. And here you're going to click activate. And it's going to pop up a series of codes. It's going to be hard for you to read these at this point, but you don't need to. This is when you would get in touch with a member of staff and say, hey, I've, uh, I've followed the tutorial. I'm up to the point of activation. Can you give me some codes? And um, one of us will be able to assist you and just give you the codes that you need. I'm going to go ahead and enter the codes myself. A couple things about entering these codes. You'll note that when I click into one of these boxes, the cursor appears sort of midway in the box. Make sure you backspace. The spacer text that appears within that window actually is interpreted as like numbers or data. So if you start typing later on, you won't be able to enter in the codes properly. Okay, so I'm going to enter these codes in. So the codes that you'd be providing us are code, what code 1 is here listed and code 2 is. And you're going to want to change the state, start date, leave the start date the same. Change the end date, just the year. Just add um, 10 years into whatever year it is now, so we don't have to re-register this again. So this was registered from, is now, is the code will be valid from 2020 to 2030, and I'm just using today's date. Um, and then you'll get a date response from that. So I'm going to enter the codes in now again in backspacing. You'll note that when you enter a code correctly, it will appear in blue. If it's not appearing in blue, then either you told us the wrong information or we gave you the wrong output code. But any correct code will enter in blue. The date response um, that we give you, um, again, make sure that you're backspacing all the way to the left of the, um, of the text entry box, otherwise it won't work. That one's particularly strange for some reason. So I'm entering this in now. You see, as soon as I enter the correct key in, it goes to activation updated. Now this is for you too fast people who are spamming through next, next, next. Do not do that here. We're Now that it's registered, we don't want to be running this as administrator anymore. So we're going to click cancel here. Click yes so that the wizard starts automatically the next time. And we're just going to close out of the stream. Um, and now we're going to run rapid caption normally just by double clicking on it. So again, now I'm not running it as uh, I'm not running it as um, administrator. I'm just double clicking on it. Sorry, I went through that a little too fast. I just double clicked on rapid caption on the desktop, or I could go to here, type rapid, and run it. And now it's going to instantly open up to the wizard. I'm going to click that I'm doing it for real time captioning, and I'm going to go about adding streams. I have some streams in here because I've previously installed this particular. Um, uh, program, but um, you would probably have to enter them. Um, if I delete these two streams, this is what you would see when you're joining. You're going to click Add, and we'll just go ahead and add a text cast stream because all of you will need that. If you have other devices you need to add for other types of connections, uh, 
we'll have to cover that in some other tutorial. But I'm going to go to add and then to rapid text, text, text cast stream. And I'm just going to leave the default characteristics. They're fine. Textcast.peoplesupport.com, port 22. That's all good. And I'm going to click next. If you're using your own software to uh, save files, which most of you are, you're using Eclipse, Case Cat, Case, you know, um, whatever it might be, you don't need to really bother about this. Uh, it's just your default directories. And really, the default document directories is probably fine. If you actually do use Rapid Caption to save, then, you know, obviously select whatever uh, file location you need for these saves. And then click finish. And, and that's really all there is to it. Um, the big thing is to make sure you're installing as administrator and you're registering as administrator. If you don't do one of those two things, you'll either run into a situation where the registration will keep uh, coming up when you're not running, when you're running this thing, it'll just keep telling you that you need to register the product because you didn't register it as an administrator. Or you might see a host of other error messages. Obviously, if something doesn't go according to plan with the installation, which sometimes happens, just get in touch with us and we're, we're happy to help out.